In this video, I'm going to show you how to do white ink printing. I do want to warn you that if you're looking for this for a one-off job or something, it's probably not going to be a great option. This is something that you need to do if you're looking to do white ink printing often or for your business or something. So just keep that in mind as we dive in. Hi, I'm Lainey. I'm a wedding invitation designer and I love to teach people how to run successful stationary businesses. So if you're interested in graphic design, wedding invitations, or running a creative business, you're in the right place. I hope you'll check out some of our other videos while we're here all about stationary graphic design and entrepreneurship. If you are a stationary designer, I do have a membership that I'll link in the description and I hope you'll check it out. You've probably never really thought about this if you're not in graphic design, but most printers come with four colors, CMYK, which is cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. So you'll notice that white is not one of those options and you can't mix those colors together to form white, can you? So you're going to need a different type of ink cartridge if you are going to print white ink. A great option for white ink, my favorite option is to do white matte foil stamping. I have a whole other video on foil stamping if you'd like to learn about that process, but it can get pretty expensive and it doesn't work well if you need to print different designs. It works well if you need to print a bunch of one design, for instance. So if we're going to do digital digital white ink, there is a way to do it. And it's with this company called Ghost Toner that creates ghost white, white colored toner for laser printers. So let me show you my printer. This is my printer, an HP M452DW, and not every printer is going to be compatible with this toner, but mine is. There is a newer version that's an M454, and it is also compatible with a new Ghost Toner cartridge. On their website, you'll find a list of all the different printers that are compatible with these cartridges. Most of them are going to be laser printers, and you'll have to get a printer that's compatible with one of these cartridges in your country. There can be some variation by country in order to use this hack. So when I want to print white ink, what I'm going to do is take the black toner cartridge out and put the ghost white toner cartridge into my printer. It's not super difficult, but it does take switching those cartridges out and you can't print black and white at the same time. Although you will be able to use the other ink cartridges if you know how to isolate them. If the color that you're trying to mix includes black, it's going to print white there and it's going to be a little bit confusing. So I would recommend just doing white by itself. Um, and then if you need to do other colors running it through a second time with the black cartridge in. Once you change out the cartridges, it's as simple as printing a black design on the computer and it will print with white ink instead of black ink. This isn't going to give you a super dense white color like you can get with some other printers that are more commercially available. Um, for instance, OKI printers are very well known for having great white toner cartridges. However, um, if you want to do something that is a little bit more in-house and a little bit more cost effective, then this printer is going to be a great option. I use it a lot for invitation um, addressing when I'm printing white ink on dark colored envelopes. And for the most part, the results are really good and passable as far as my business is concerned. You will want to make sure that the ink is adhering to the paper. I like to just kind of give it a little rub test to make sure it's not coming off on my finger. And now I'll show you on the computer what I do to trick the printer into thinking it's printing black and actually print white. Anything that shows up as black on your screen, you'll want to change to 100% black. So you don't want any cyan, yellow, or magenta printing and messing with that white ink cartridge. And then when you go into the print dialog box, you're just going to go into your settings and where it says print and grayscale, you'll turn that on. That will isolate just the black ink cartridge, which is actually the white ink cartridge now. And then anything that you've printed in that 100% black will print in white. If you're interested in this specific printer, I do have a blog post with a longer review and some updates as I had it over time for the past couple years. I hope this video was helpful in showing you how I print with white ink on my laser jet printer. There are a lot of different printers on the Ghost Toner website that are compatible with these cartridges, but like I said, it's probably not a great solution if you're just trying to print white ink once. If you're doing that, I would just hire it out to another designer or a local printer that offers white ink printing. And if you want a very, very opaque look and just very, very solid white, then I would look into matte white 
foil printing. It's going to be a little bit more costly, but it would work really well for a wedding invitation or something where you're printing a lot of the same design, for instance. I mentioned I use this printer for envelope printing a lot, and I know you all have a lot of questions. It can be kind of finicky, so it's a little too much for a YouTube video, but I do have a course on Skillshare all about envelope printing with this printer and my other inkjet printer, which is a Canon Pixma Pro 100. Let me know what questions you have about white ink printing or any other stationary design topics. And while you're here, check out some of our other videos, give us a subscribe and let us know what you think in the comments. Thanks everyone.